everyone in this video I'm gonna go over some of the major facts good and bad about wearing protective styles in order to have a conversation about protective styles it's important to define exactly what one is compared to a low manipulation style low manipulation styles are basically styles that were achieved without any direct heat for example braid out twist outs bantu knots pin curls flexi rod sets and roller sets they're all categorized under low manipulation styles these styles require no direct heat and barely any energy or skill on your part they are easy to do and are a healthier style choice since direct heat is the quickest way to dry out your hair and a protective style is where your ends are protected, shielded away, and invisible to the outside elements like rain, snow, wind, etc. These styles really help in retaining length. Some examples will be buns, braids, cornrows, French braids, updos, ponytails, and etc. Protective styles can be considered as low manipulation styles. However, low manipulation styles are not protective styles. So now that we're clear, let's go into some of the benefits of wearing protective styles. Protective styles are low maintenance and require less manipulation. Wearing protective styles eliminates the need to manipulate your hair on a consistent basis. Once you style your hair in one of these updos, daily maintenance is a breeze, which is perfect for anyone who's not into high maintenance hair. This allows you to stay out of your hair more often, so it's free to just grow. Another great benefit of wearing protective styles is that if done correctly, you can retain all your growth. Forget the myth that black hair doesn't grow. It most certainly does. However, it can also break off at an alarming rate because loose ends get caught on fabric, car seats, pillowcases, and more. When hair constantly breaks, it's difficult to see and measure growth. A true protective style tucks away the ends from rubbing on things and breaking. This way, your ends stay on your head and you're able to see your growth. The amount of time you save with not having to style your hair every morning is great. Once your style is put in, you don't need to do much to them. Besides the occasional touch-up with a loose twist or daily spritz with natural oils and water, just make sure you secure your hair at night before bed. In the morning, all you'll need to do is remove your scarf, spritz your hair, and go. Finally, tucking away your ends keeps your hair soft and moisturized for a longer period of time. Have you ever noticed a difference in moisture at the end of the day wearing your hair up in a bun versus wearing it out? Test it yourself. Wash your hair, and while it's soaking wet, add leave-in conditioner. Then put one side into six to seven twists and pin them up. Leave the other side out. After an hour or so, you should find that the side that was put in twist is softer and still well moisturized compared to the side that was left loose. This is because the hair on that side held in more of the natural oils and moisture that gets soaked up by dry air and clothes when loose. Well moisturized hair, one that feels soft to the touch, is less likely to suffer from breakage and dryness. Just like with anything, there is a negative side to wearing protective styles. I'm going to go over a list of the hardest things to deal with when you're wearing your hair in a protective style. Now that we went over all the positive things about wearing your hair in a protective style, here's a list of some of the hardest things to deal with. First, fighting the urge to play with and unravel protective style or twist is hard for many naturals. For a lot of us, it's hard to keep our hands out of our hair. Fighting the urge to play and unravel your protective style or twist can be really hard to do. An easy solution to this is to try to wear your hair in smaller twists. The amount of time it takes to put them in and take them out will make you want to keep them in as long as possible. An ethnic lady wearing a protective style is not the image of beauty that we often see in the media. And because of that, many naturals believe that the look of protective styles is unrefined and unpolished. Protective styles are not the problem. The problem is the belief that you can neglect your hair once it's in one. Some protective styles are very stylish and can even look elegant. 
through research and trial and error, find a protective style that works for you and looks nice on you and not someone else. Also, a lot of us often forget to properly maintain and take care of our hair once it's in a protective style. Even though hair is tucked away in a protective style, prolonged periods of not moisturizing and refreshing your hair can lead to tangles, dryness, and breakage. If you don't do it every day, try to refresh your protective style at least once a week. In general, a protective style should stay in no longer than a month if properly treated. Finally, installing and styling your protective style too tight can cause tension overload, which can completely defeat the purpose of putting your hair in a protective style in the first place. Something as simple as pulling your hair too tight with hair bands can cause breakage. Excessive pulling on the root while putting in a protective style can cause temporary and even permanent damage. Also, watch the amount of human or synthetic hair you add to your hair if braiding or twisting. Too much bulk creates tension that can cause breakage to your edges and other areas. A guideline to make sure your protective style is not in too tight is once you have your hair up in the style, wherever you feel any strain or tightness, gently pull on the twist or braid until it feels comfortable and looser. You should not feel any pulling or tightness of any kind when your hair is in a style. Let's continue this discussion. Here are two questions I have for you. First, from one to seven, where one means you completely hate putting your hair in a protective style, and seven means you absolutely love it and you'll probably put your hair in a protective style 100% of the time. Where do you place yourself? Also, what is the hardest thing for you to deal with when you're wearing your hair in a protective style? I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it within the same day. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.